Hi, and welcome to Bremster Puzzles, and back to the World Puzzle Federation 2015 Round 8, a series of puzzles created by um, setters from Great, uh, sorry, the United Kingdom. I hope I haven't been saying Great Britain, because that may not be true. The United Kingdom. Um, and this is a puzzle set by Gareth Moore, and it's a 45-point classic Sudoku. If I've been saying Great Britain earlier, I'm really sorry. Um, yeah, United Kingdom. Um, so yeah, this is a 45 point puzzle set by, uh, Gareth Moore. Um, and this is the final classic Sudoku in this set. Um, so this one should be about as hard as the previous one. So, um, we'll see how it goes. So as always, there'll be a link to this puzzle in the description below, as well as to the entire World Puzzle Federation archive. Um, and yeah, let's go through the rules and then give the puzzle a go. So, um, into every box. So normal Sudoku rules, which means into every box, into every row, and into every column, we have to place the digits one through nine without repetition. That's it. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So what can I say? Well, immediately this is screaming at me because this is going to be a triple. So I haven't put a two, a three, or a six into this box. So two, three, six must go in here. Now this can't be a six and this can't be a two, but it means none of these digits can be two, three, or six. So this is another triple, one, four, uh, one, four, nine. And there's no one there, there's no four there. So four has to be in one of those two which means, yeah, I'm not sure. That probably didn't help me as much as I thought it did, but it was calling to me. It was screaming in my head. Um, nine and nine means nine is in one of those two. Uh, seven and seven means seven is in one of those two, but the seven in column nine says not there. That's a seven. Uh, eight and eight means eight is in one of those two. This is just a nine because I need to put nine in this box and nine is saying not there. So this is a nine. This is a pair, which is a two, three. So what's this triple? This column is very full. Two, three, five. There's no three there. Hmm. Okay. This is a harder puzzle, but it's got a lot of information to start with. This is actually a one because one can't go in any of those and that one is looking down. So this is the one, which means this isn't one. This is a four nine pair. I'm wondering if this is going to be one of those puzzles that has a nasty trick part way through where it looks like there's no way to progress. And either you need to pick an option in order to say, is this one going to break or the other one? Or you need to find a really tricky piece of Sudoku logic. We will see how it goes. These are two, three, and eight. There's no three here. So that means three is in one of those two. There's no two there. Seven has to go in one of those two because of these, but it also can't go there. So this is the seven. Um, one, two, seven. So two is actually in one of those two. Two is in one of those. Well, I can see, ah, oh, where's seven in this box? Do more with seven. Seven isn't in any of those or there or there. Wow, this is insane. So these are one, two, five, six. So this is a five. These are one, two, six. And there's no one there. There's no six there. But one, these are three and nine which does confirm three is down here because I can't put three in any of those. So these are one, two, six, and eight. And there's no eight there. Okay. The triple in column eight, two, three, four, because I've got five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are all two, three, four. And that's going to matter here. Because these are from two, three, four, and this is all two, three, four, five. So four must be in here. Five must be in here now. This is not five. This is two, three, four, but can't be four. That's a two, three pair. Right. So I know what this triple is. One, two, three, four, five, eight. There's no five there. There's no eight there. There's no four there. I can, hang on. I removed the wrong digits. Let's roll back to where I put the four, five, eight in. There is no five there. There is no eight there. There's no four there. And then I can remove the corner marks. But these, one, two, three, four, five, six, one and six. And the one makes that the six and that the one. And I've broken the puzzle. Because that cell has no fill. 
Why did I remove two from there? I think I removed the wrong digit from there. So this was one, two, I'm going to refill this because this was one, two, six. And I think I should have removed one from there. Now I can remove, yeah, this should have, I removed the wrong digit from here. That was a mistake of pencil marking. But the six is now looking back, making that the two and that the six, which means this is the five, this is not the five. So this is four or nine for the row. That was a pencil marking error. I'm 99% sure. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are also two, three, four, and this isn't a two. So that's a three or a four. Okay. Stepping up. Maybe, I don't know. Six is in one of those two. Right, six is in one of those two. So six isn't in any of those or there. So six is in one of those two. Five. Yeah, five is in one of those two. That's, but uh, yeah, five has to be in one of those. So five can't be here. This is the five. So these are two, three, four, and nine. No, I've got to put an eight in here. Two, three, four, nine. There has to be an eight in one of those two. These are two, three, four, eight, nine. Four is in one of those three. Four is actually in one of those two because I can't put four there or there. Four is in one of those two. That is not a four. So four is in four is in one of those two. So is there naked singleness going on here? Four is here. Five is in one of these two. Okay, this could be a puzzle that has one of those nasty logic tricks in it when you get to about this point, or not. So row two, three, four, five, and six. So these are from three, four, five, six to complete the row, but four and six looks up saying this isn't four or six. So this is three or five. There's no five here. So I'm wondering if there's something being led off one of these cells. Like I can see those are the same digit, but I'm not sure what that's doing for me. This is two, three, six, or nine. So this is three, six, or nine only, because it can't be a two. So eight in this column can't be in any of those. So eight has to be in one of these two, which means this can't be an eight, and this is only a two or a three. So I'm doing some short inference chains in my head to see if it's helping me. And it's not. Well, this can't be a three because three has to be down here. So this is a six or a nine. Three is in one of those two.
Hmm. I think I've stated many times before, this is the sort of stuff that I'm not so much of a fan of when it comes to classic Sudoku. But I'm not sure if it's me just scanning badly. Like, are there hidden singles somewhere in... So two, well, there's a two, three pair here. So one, two, three, four, five, eight, and nine. So these are only from five, eight, nine, and that can't be for a five. So this is only an eight or a nine. Is there anything else I can restrict down like that? Not that I can see. Sorry, I've gone completely non-responsive here. So what can this be? Can't be one, two, four, five, six. So it could be three or eight only, I think. Because it can't be one, two. It could be three. It can't be four, five, six, or four, six, five, seven, or nine. So it's only three or eight. Is that doing anything? Like, I was wondering if there's some sort of, like, I can see one of these two cells has to be an eight now, but that's not actually doing anything that I can see. This is two, three, eight, nine. I'm lost. I kind of expected this was going to happen. And bear in mind, for competition solving, competition solvers would potentially turn around and pick one of the digits that looks incredibly restricted. Um, I'm not even sure what that would be because I don't think of the way they do. And pick an option and break it as fast as possible. And if it breaks, go the other way because they know every puzzle is going to have a unique solution. So if it doesn't break, they found the right way. If it does break, go back to where they broke it and just go the other way. Be quick. But that's not what I like doing. But that's what these puzzles are kind of designed for. I'd like to find a logical path through. So one, two, could be three, four, six, or eight. That's not helping, is it? And this one is two, three, eight, or nine. So this is another two, three, eight, nine, which is three towards. So no four in the column is up here. Oh, that's a four, six pair. I can't put four or six there. I can't put four or six in any of those. And I can't put four or six there. 
yeah, this is a four six pair. So there's no three here. This is actually a four six pair, right? Can I do anything with that? Can I do anything with that? I'm not sure. I've almost pencil marked everything in the grid. There's only these two cells, which are two, three, six, eight, nine. Now this one can't be a six. That one can't be a three. And that one can't be a three. So three is in one of those two in this column. I can't put a three here because of the two, three pair. This is a four, six pair. And I can't put a three here because of the X wing on threes here. Three is in one of those two, which means that's the four, that's the nine. There's no nine in either of those. And three is in one of those two. There's no three here. The nine looks down, making this the six, which makes that the two, which makes that the eight, which makes that the six. This is going to break this open, I think. The two looks across, making that the three and that the two. The three looks back, making that the nine and that the three. The two takes two out of there, and there's no two or six here. This is an eight, nine pair. Bam. So this is a three and a two, and the nine is looking down, making that the eight and that the nine. The nine looks up, making that the eight, which makes that the three, that the five, that the nine. The two looks up making that the eight, and this is a two three pair. There you go. Wow. The four looks across saying this isn't the four, so that's the four, which means this is the nine and this is the four. Something. This five looks across making that the four, which makes that the eight and that the five. The four looks back, making that the six and that the four. The six looks in, making that the three, that the two, which makes that the six. And the two is going to move into these two, three pairs to finish them off, making this the three, this the two, making this the three, this the two, making this the three, and this the two. And that is how you solve classic Sudoku 5 which was won by Gareth Moore. So the trick was finding this four, six pair and then finding the hidden three in column three. Okay, that was a little tricky. Um, not really my favorite style of deduction, but it was there and that was fair. That was an incredibly fair puzzle. I liked that one more than I've liked some of the other harder classics in the sets. So thank you, Gareth. Appreciate it. Um, yep, we start tomorrow with the some of the variants, and I'm kind of looking forward to it. Um, not sure which variants are coming up. I can't remember, but I'll find out when I open my list. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series, and as always, good luck with your solving.